8,740 pounds of big, bad bunkhouse fun. One owner, full-size camp kitchen, opposing bunk slides, slide awnings added, and hitching included. A J-Flight 32 TSBH triple side bunkhouse coming in here at Haylet RV Brokers of Coldwater, Michigan. We sold it to the original owners just down the street at Haylet RV. You can see there's their original hitching. They've added some accessories. They've taken good care of it. So why is it here? Short answer is, because the kids done growed up. They're not as little as they used to be and they're just not camping as much anymore. That's the only reason she's here. And my overall impression here is very favorable. This appears to have been used, not abused, very well kept. I'll try to point out like a couple little things here and there, like just so that you know I'm being fair. Like if you look down at this slide fascia, if we're gonna be ultra picky, you can see where maybe somebody's shoes scuffed that a little bit. There's a little blemish on the sofa right here, but that's how picky detailed I've had to get to try to find anything not kind of on the up and up with this one. It looks good. So she's big, she's long, triple slide. We've got ourselves a six foot nine interior height, giving us extra headroom all the way through the RV. Very handy in the bunks and the uh, shower, especially. We'll see that. It's a larger 15,000 BTU air, and this is built with the J Flight thermal package. I know that because. I believe we were the ones that built this for the folks, so we're pretty darn familiar with how this sucker is equipped. And it's funny, it's hot and sunny outside, it feels about 10 degrees cooler out there, and she's not plugged into 110, so we're not running that air conditioning. That thermal package is just doing a good job of keeping the sunshine out. Now, if you look at the windows, they all open for airflow. You can kind of see the center beams in place there, especially on that guy right there. So you've got cross breeze windows. Now, uh, nice things here, they, uh, Jacob does a lot with their U-Dinettes. Uh, if you take a look here, if we open this up, you can see there's storage below the uh, seating, as well as that table can flip up out of the way. It's free floating, it can go outside, you can uh, use it in front of the sofa like a picnic or coffee table. I mean, you can do whatever you want with it. Then obviously kind of over there in what we're going to call the hallway between the bathroom and the, like, well, the, the closet and the bathroom themselves kind of forming a hallway to the bunk room, uh, that big chunk of storage. It could be used for bunk room storage, although you'll find the bunk room has plenty of its own storage or linen space or whatever. We added the optional skylight to this one, as we are often tend to do here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Well, down the street at Halet RV, sorry. This being Halet RV Brokers. Minor distinction, but important. This RV is here on consignment. If you don't know what that means, we're selling it for someone, kind of like real estate, but we can still do hitching, pieces, parts, trades, RV finance, RV delivery, and everything in between. Eight cubic foot fridge freezer, plus there's the outside fridge in the camp kitchen, and we will come back here to the kitchen to see it in better detail in a minute, but I want to point out an easily missed detail, and it's, it's a small thing, but it's a nice thing. The little accent lighting on the countertop. Not terribly impressive during the day but it's an awesome little night light at light uh, at, at light pardon me at night for the kiddos looks like they were leaving the ac cooling grill kind of open that's okay to do short term when you're you know if when you just get to your campsite feel free to leave that open long term you want to flip these vents back closed so that the air actually does go through your central air vents little tip number 37 there for you from uncle josh the rv nerd here in the bathroom we have an actual locking door i point that out because kind of a weirdly rare feature in travel trailers. It probably costs two cents more, so a lot of brands don't do it. Porcelain foot flush stool here in the bathroom. Nicer feature. And that's kind of the thing with J-Flights. I could certainly find you a less expensive travel trailer in this in a, in a conventionally constructed class. It's not going to have all the equipment and jazz this one has. And remember that six foot nine ceiling, it's going to give us plenty of headroom up there in the shower. If you are a little bit bigger and taller like me, that's something I certainly appreciate about them. Again, trying to be fair, looks like they had one of those hanging over the door kind of coat rack things for their towels that might have scuffed that door a little bit. But again, that's the worst stuff I'm finding here. There is a sliding pocket privacy door here for the bunk room. So if you want to close the kids up and they can go just back here all crazy on a rainy day you can now over here i don't understand why these things aren't more popular you've got the converter cube kind of job below with the folding 300 pound rated bunk above and if we flip that down you see you've got uh thicker bunk mats here as well as each of those converter pads down below can open up into their own 
uh, like individual sleeping space. So this is a bunk room that can sleep five because what you're going to see is as we go through, there's five separate sleeping beds here. Uh, sleeping beds? Okay, not my best work ever, but we're, we're going to roll with it and we're doing it live-ish. Um, the other thing is, this allows for something uh, very, very cool that I, I think you're going to like. But folks, if on a rainy day, you're not setting up the J Battle Fort, then, uh, I don't know, maybe we shouldn't be friends. Now from there, if we take a look over here at this rear wall, it's easy to miss, but right over here, there's dual sets of outlets so that, you know, the kids on a rainy day got plenty of room to keep everything kind of plugged in. But you see how this entire rear wall is just nothing but cabinetry or entertainment with this flip out desk back here. It's actually really cool how it can kind of just become and do everything. So if we flip that open and take a look, you can see a lot, a lot, a lot of storage. This is all pocket screwed cabinetry, plywood uh, boxing on the drawers. It's made to last. It's made, you know, kids can be back here, like I said, just all messed up on the marshmallows and Mountain Dew and, and it's not going to fall apart on you. Now, you may also notice that below the lower bunk in the door side slide, there's like a storage trough or, you know, shoe garage or whatever you want to call it. But this is one of the cool things Jayco was the first to figure out. Because there's a full-size camp kitchen behind that wall. Normally, most manufacturers, when they do that, you'll just lose the bunk. Jayco said, well, there's enough room. If we make the bunk fold up and down, we can still pull this off. And since it's opposing slide outs, the room is actually quite big. That's what's interesting about this one. You got a long super slide living room, but you have a wide double slide bunk room. So you've got a tremendous amount of sleeping space in here. And you can see the kids weren't like real violent back here. There's not like, it's not like there's stains on the floor. It's not like everything's all chewed up, scarred up, dinged up, banged up. This thing looks good. This thing looks really good. I'm not going to say it's exactly like new. I'm not trying to, to go over the top with this, but it looks good. I mean, the floor is super clean. The carpet's not stained up anywhere. Coming out of the bunk room gives us a good view of that slide side breeze window. Not to mention down below you can see that XL shoe garage cutting the clutter right when you walk in the door. Um, the only thing I really noticed that was like you could say missing from when this is brand new is the originally factory installed TV uh, and bracket in that spinning enclosure right there. Looks like previous owners took that with them. So just kind of be advised on that one. Now if we spin that, open those sliding doors and open up the kitchen and take a look, what we can see is a lot of good storage. Huge wastebasket space down below. Plywood drawers down to the floors here. Raised panel hardwood cabinet doors on the uppers, making it everything look good. Then again, TV can spin to face the bedroom or bathroom, or pardon me, living room, if you decide to put one in. And then a little bit of pantry tainment storage down below that. Now that is uh, DVD and Bluetooth on the stereo, inside outside speaker selector. And I know it's just little handy things too, like easy reach appliance outlets over here and that larger handle on the door. Now that's a wider 30 inch entry door, by the way. And I love the fact that it has a full viewing window and it is tinted, but it's not just a uh, frosty glass window. It's something, you know, a little bit nicer there. Uh, moving up front here, something I want to make sure you're aware of, because if you look, if you're tall like me, your knee jerk reaction might be, oh man, the bed comes too close to the entertainment center. Well, thing is, this is a 60 by 80 true queen, so your feet aren't going to be hanging off the edge of it organically, so you shouldn't have trouble there. Um, now, it's definitely a very compact and minimal bedroom, but this is a very big, long trailer. I think they had to make the decision that, Mom and Dad, you're basically just going to sleep here and maybe get dressed. You're going to spend the rest of your time in the bedroom or outside. So I think they did well minimizing this. This thing has a big power awning right when you walk out of that door. LED lighting uh, at the base of it, by the way. One of the nice things about that big awning is the door is like more in the middle of it. So if it is raining a little bit, it's not going to kind of spit at you or dribble inside the door when you're walking in and out. We already kind of peeked in that pass-through compartment, but just a second mention of the fact that previous owner's hitching is to be included with this one, which is kind of nice. Uh, you know, it's just, especially if you're a first-timer, it's one less thing you're going to need. I actually saw the people bring this in. They had a, uh, a nice heavy half ton towing this thing. Now this is a lot of trailer and this is more than some half tons want to be handling, but an appropriate half ton obviously can't handle it because they were not sagged in the back at all. It was handling it just fine. Power tongue jack and 30, uh, 
gallon propane tanks on the front there. Uh, enclosed heated underbelly, that's part of that thermal package. All the windows tinted to keep the sun shine out. And, as you are probably noticing, slide out awnings added on all three slides by the previous owners. That is no uh, small amount of money that they spent right there. But it does a wonderful job of keeping the sunshine out of this thing and keeping the pine needles off the roofs of the slides. Our hookups are all located right between the two slides over here on the driver's side as well. Black flush, uh, fast recharge water heater, gas and electric simultaneous burn. Uh, outside shower all right above the sewer hookup here. The tires are looking good, aluminum wheels looking good. I don't see any problems there. I don't, like I said, I haven't found anything major on the RV that really gives me any kind of significant pause. Uh, ladder added to the back here to give you easy access to the roof. We might go ahead and just climb up there before everything is done. Now this does not have uh, the optional receiver hitch on the back that was uh, available on Jayco's at the time, but the chassis is actually pre-prepped for it. So if that is something you want, that's an easy thing that we can do here. Uh, or you do have the option if it's going to be a light accessory like a two bike rack, maybe just going with a uh, traditional bumper mount. You could go either way. We've got all the accessory options here for you and we can give you the positives, negatives, either way on those. And once again, a big camp kitchen on a floor plan like this. That is uh, a feature a lot of manufacturers just never really kind of figured out and Jayco nailed it right away. So you've got your little pull out stove top over here. We've got some uh, handy household outlets back there in that corner. You see a real sink with a real drain. Handy storage space outside with, uh, just like our overhead doors in the um, kitchen, we've got struts on those so they can hold themselves open. And again, the extra fridge space out here, this is really handy so that especially like if you got those little hug barrel juice things or some water for a couple of barley pops out here. Well, you've got a space where you don't have to go walking in and out. Now, originally this would have been a drawer. The drawer's gone. They kept the drawer face. I thought it was interesting. And nothing looks damaged. So what it kind of indicates to me is they intentionally removed it just because they gained a little bit of cubic foot of storage space. Maybe they had some big spatulas or something like that that just weren't quite fitting in a, uh, a normal drawer space. I think we've all had that instance where a spatula's like, hey, nice drawer you got there. It'd be a shame if something were to block it. And the roof looks good. Seals and everything look good. There's a couple spots where I think you could maybe be due for like a little touch-up bead, but that's it. The underside of the main awning could use just a quick cleaning, but overall they obviously stayed on top of this thing. I got a suspicion it was stored either under a cover or indoors or under a carport or something because this is all the original factory seals. The roof looks nice and clean. They, they went to some kind of measures to keep this thing protected. Front termination, rear termination strip looks good. That's where the front rear walls meet the roof, by the way, termination strip, in case you were curious about that terminology. Overall, <laughs> I've seen a lot worse in the used RV market, <laughs> but I, I really, I haven't seen much better. You know, this is in very, very good shape. And things like the slide awnings, the hitch, all the extras and add-ons they put into this. And I, I think you're all right. Um, normally we have more here to offer you, but we have had just one heck of a season and stuff is leaving as fast as it comes in. So if you like what you see on this one, I wouldn't, I wouldn't wait, you know. Take all the time you need, but need all the time you take. And short of that, take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halo Camp and everyone.